Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate signed URL using CloudFront. We'll be using CLI for generating this URL. So let's first understand uh, the basics uh, like what is CloudFront signed URL. So uh, the purpose of signed URL is to allow user to download or stream the content. Okay, this step is automatic. The user usually doesn't have to do anything or anything additional to access the content. Okay. For example, if user is accessing your uh, secret content via web browser, your application returns the signed URL to the browser. Okay. So let's see how to generate a signed URL. Okay. So if you are following me along with this video, then uh, log in to AWS Management Console. Okay, so uh, I will head back to CloudFront service. <laughs> we already have one uh, distribution in place. Okay, so we are going to reuse that. Okay, so it is having two origins at the moment. So what we are do going to do is we'll protect one of the origins using signed URL. Okay. So this is the URL for that. Okay, so we have this URL in place, which we want to protect it using a signed URL. Okay, so I will quickly open the command prompt. Okay, so the command prompt is open, but before that, let's generate uh, some keys, okay, which will require. need the private key and public key we'll download and put that in one of the folder so if we head back over here right in the cloud front key pairs you've got to create a new key pair so it will it has created it so let's click on download and uh, let's download the public key so the next step, what I'm going to do is I'll place those keys in a particular folder in my system. Okay, so I've downloaded those keys and placed those into keys folder. Okay, so these are the two keys. Okay, so we're going to type in a command now. So it is AWS. I already installed CLI. So you if you don't have CLI installed, you can install that AWS. And since this command is for CloudFront, okay, we are going to sign a URL for CloudFront. So CloudFront is necessary over here and sign, okay. Dash dash URL. We, let's put this URL over here. Let's copy this and the same URL over here okay next is we gonna give it a key pair ID okay so key dash pair dash ID okay so you will get the key pair ID from over here which is this particular ID okay this is done and next is the private key file Dash dash private dash key dash file. Okay, so not dash file but space and file colon slash slash. We're gonna give it give this name. Okay, yeah, which is pk file. Good. Next is date. We gotta give it a date, right? So date like till what date this? Particular URL is valid. We gotta give that date over here. There's less this then. Okay. <clears throat> and it is in the uh, MMMM. So 2023 dash MM. 
so which is a month so 08 dash and the date so today is 17th of august 2023 so i will give 18th of august 2020 okay so that's it guys so let's click on hit enter and we have this url now okay so <clears throat> let's try to access this url which is just valid for one day okay so this is our cloudfront url now we are gonna paste the url for which is signed url okay and it is working fine so that means this uh, this worked very well so this is how you can generate a signed url okay the use case of signed url is let's say you have a secret content okay let's say you have a particular tutorial aws tutorial that you want to release only to the subscribed members then you can use this signed url to to you know protect your content <coughs> to provide those only to the subscribed customers so let's say if you have a video for aws right that you want to uh, release it only to the subscribed members for seven days then you can change the date parameter which is less than to coming uh add seven days to it okay so it will work only for seven days if if i try to access this particular url tomorrow i won't be able to access it because <clears throat> this is restricted only for for one day okay so now uh since we are done with the demo, I'll quickly delete this key pair. Okay, I'm gonna deactivate it first. Next is delete it because we don't need it unnecessarily. It's, it's a good practice to delete I think, uh, resources that you have created after a demo. Okay. Okay, so this is done. Now let's try to access this URL. We should not. it is already generated URL, we are able to access it the next thing is let's delete the cloud front distribution okay i'll do that later need it for one another demo but understand this is how you can generate a signed URL. okay so that's it for this demo guys thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel See you again in the next video. I'll paste this command in uh, the description box so you can have a look at that. Thank you.